goes green. With six kids, I'm already aware that we create a huge carbon footprint on the environment. So I try to be extra conscious of the way that I prepare lunches for the kids to take to school, and I try to really think about how much garbage that we create. So when I go to the grocery store, instead of buying those small packages of individual portions that would go into the kids' lunches or snack bags, um, instead I'll just buy a regular, por a regular size box, and I will portion it out into Tupperware. And then when I'm done with the box, I make sure that the box always gets broken down and put into our recycling bin. The one thing we did that was pretty significant, at least under our roof, is we sorted, we went to the container store, we bought um, specific containers, garbage cans, and we did all the sorting and we set them up on rollers underneath the counter. It's great. We put the glass and plastic in one, the paper um, in another, and then the compost and waste in a third. The other thing I do when I put together the kids' lunches and snack bags for school is we use all reusable containers. So the drinks are going to go in either an aluminum water bottle or depending on the age of the child it might go into a flip top straw um, type of water bottle. All of their lunch bags and snack bags are packed using cloth napkins. We try not to use paper napkins or paper plates or plastic cups or any of that kind of stuff around here at all. Once a week um, I will do a load of laundry. Um, I get a pretty big gathering by the end of the week and I throw them all in and I wash them in hot water and I think this is much kinder to the environment than the amount of paper garbage that we would generate. I compost with all my vegetable scraps. I save everything from every meal really and in a little bowl in the kitchen and I dump it into my garden compost and it cuts down on probably one can of garbage a week. The other thing we do to keep a green kitchen is I try to use all um, green eco-friendly products and again staying away from paper towels um, I use only microfiber cloths when cleaning the countertop, wiping down the kitchen table. These all get thrown in the laundry. I try to do them in the same cycle when I'm doing the cloth napkins. And don't forget when you're breaking down those cardboard boxes for the recycling bin to go ahead and cut out those little box top for education logos. They're worth 10 cents each, and you wouldn't just throw a dime in the recycling bin, right? <laughs>